This quick overview of RentMy will tell you everything you need to know about getting started with your new rental management system. The first step is to add products. Click the Add Product button to get started. Add a product name, quantity, and image to get started. In this example, we'll add a golf cart. You can also add a description to your product and price your product however you like. RentMy allows you to offer items for sale and or for rent. In this example we'll add a sale price and let's look at the pricing controllers. We have a basic option which charges a single flat fee based on the duration of your rental. Our standard offering permits you to add hourly, daily, and weekly timed rentals. And our advanced pricing controller permits you to nest or tier your pricing. So for example, $20 for the first day and $10 each additional day. For this example, we'll use standard and set a daily rate for this item. So this is each day will cost $35. Clicking the down arrow on the advanced features will allow you to add tags, sales tax, if you ship your product, adding a weight, and gives you the ability to determine how you want to track your products, either by bulk or specific asset. Clicking save will add that product to your inventory. You can click on the product name to add additional pricing options. So we added a daily rate, let's now add a weekly rate as well. We'll click the price tab and here we can adjust the initial pricing that we added or offer another option for rent. In this view we can also add other pictures. We can establish related products so when this product shows in the cart show a related item and we can even add category organization so grouping products by like type. In this example, we'll create a new category and associate this new product to that category. We'll add another product, but this time show some additional options. So we'll repeat the process that we used with the first product, and now we'll spend more time on the advanced options. Tags are a way to help your customers filter out products. So by adding tags, you'll see that your customers can search for specific items based on keywords or other tags. So we'll create this tag. And in this example, we'll leave all the additional settings alone. So now this product is added. From your inventory list view, you can see pricing for sale and rent, images, and even more detail about the product. By clicking the calendar icon, you can see how many of a particular product is available at any given time. Every product in your Rent My Inventory has its own unique calendar of availability. This is the process for adding a product individually. However, we do have bulk import options and other tools to make adding your inventory easier and faster. The next step to managing your account is creating your website. RentMy has an included website builder, but we also offer APIs and a free WordPress plugin. Clicking the Create Your Website button will allow you to view and change different themes, colors, and general website layout. You can click the See Your Store button to start to see how these themes will look. So obviously you haven't added anything to your website yet, but this is the general layout of the first theme. When we click the catalog page, however, you'll see that the first products that you've added are now available for rent or purchase. So we'll go back to our website designer and choose a different theme and click submit. And when we refresh our website, you'll see that the new theme is in place. And again, you can repeat for all the different themes and keep in mind that we're always adding new themes. 
Again, you have complete control over the imagery, the colors, the design, etc. of your website. For my golf cart business, I know that I want to use the softer side theme. I want to have grids enabled. I'm not so interested in featured products or promotions at the moment. So now by clicking Submit, I've updated my theme. So now I'm going to go through and start to create some designs for my website. By clicking this link, I can start to add home page banners as well as images for things like grids. So I'll choose the banner for my home page and I'll add some text as well as a button and a call to action. So we'll add the text, both headline and subtext. I'll add the label for my button. and I can decide where I want to link this button. By clicking the link to button here, you can associate this particular call to action to a product, a page, a tag, or any of the other items that help you identify your product. So we'll choose a specific page, and for now we'll just link the customer to our catalog page. I'll save that. So now that that's saved, we can go take a look at the progress so far. Let's click back to our website, refresh the page, and now you'll see that the image I uploaded is presented, as well as the headline and the button. And when I click this button, it will take me as directed to the catalog page. Here is also the tag that I created that allows me to filter out this particular product. When we return to the website design page, we can add additional banner images to create a carousel effect on our website. And here's also where we can override all the standard or default labels that apply. So if there's any word or term that you don't like, you can simply override it with your own and click to submit it. You can also create new pages, instructions or other type of detail you want to provide to your customers. And you can also add grids. Remember I enabled grids on the website design that I selected. So I'm just going to create a grid that will direct my customers down to this particular golf cart. So similar to the headline, I can add language to this grid as well as a button and a call to action. So I'll add that text here and direct that this button go to a particular product. So I'm just going to type in the first few letters of the product that I added. Rent my will find it, pre-populate it, and then when you save it and submit it, you'll see that that grid's now available on your website. When I click the grid, it will take me to the particular product that I established in the configuration. And here you can see I can buy or rent this product. Standard price is for rent for one week. I extend that to two weeks and the pricing automatically updates and calculates appropriately. Finally, returning to my page, I can add custom CSS if I like. I can pre-populate some of the standard pages that are available, things like terms and conditions about us. Simply click the edit button to add your own content. The final step is creating your business settings. Here's where you can really personalize the account to your liking. Add your logo and also choose specific settings that you prefer for your business, things like time zone or currency, date format, and even product definitions and rental term definitions. Choose how your pricing is displayed, whether or not you choose to show rental pricing and other common checkout features. In the checkout options menu, you can establish, create coupons, including intelligent coupons like automatic discounting based on quantity, etc. You can do more with your website to establish delivery charges or shipping charges, setting up hours of operation, including holidays and even seasonal pricing. And you can rename or add additional locations for your business. 
In this menu, you can establish your payment processing options. So choose from the supported Rent My Online Payment Gateways or add manual payment gateways. For example, if you choose to accept rentals in cash or by purchase order, you can do that in this screen. And you can even design your receipt to reflect your brand. There's no limit to the amount of ways that you can customize your Rent My account. If you ever have any questions or need help, our Rent My experts are standing by.